All right, so we have our simple authentication system in place and now we want to add more features to it starting with email verification so when a new user registers they need to verify their account by going to their email and click on the link we send them so first thing make sure you have your mail trap set up and then we can go to laravel documentation and the email verification and follow the steps here we need to prepare our model our user model needs to implement must verify email contract let's just start there and let's go to user.php that is our user model and you notice we already have must verify email imported for us but it's commented out so i can bring that back and down here we can say implements must verify email so that is the first step then we can go back to the documentation and we need to fire up that event when a user registers because we are doing these things manually so we need to implement that let's open our register controller in our store method we have this comment that we can replace it with event helper function and then pass down new registered from events directory so this class is looking for a user which we are creating up here so we can just pass it down and end the statement all right so we can close this one as well and then we need to prepare our database but since we are using the default users table and migration files we don't need to worry about this part then we need three routes one is for email verification notice so that is just a get route one is the handler that is also a get route but a lot of it will fulfill that for us and the last one is resending the email verification so let's just start with the notice and i'm going to copy this get route and go back to our project open our auth.php this is where we have our authentication routes and in this middleware that belongs to the authenticated users i'm going to paste that so first let me make some comments here and we have a get route that goes to this url and a function that is basically returning a view that we will create in a moment so let's delete this part and then add an array so we can have our controller now we don't have a controller so let's create that first in the terminal i can say php artisan make controller auth forward slash email verification controller so this will create our controller inside the auth folder and we are calling it email verification controller back to our auth.php i can use that controller like so and say class and then we need a function to return that view which i would call it notice we also have this middleware but we don't need it anymore because we are inside the same group so this would be our first route make sure the name is exactly this because laravel would look for a route with this exact name now let's open our email verification controller we need our notice function right here so i'm going to say public function notice and we just want to return an inertia view so let's say return inertia render and we will create a verify email view component inside our auth folder so let's do that in our resources js pages and auth we can create a new file we will call it verify email dot view now what we need in this component or view is basically just a text to inform users that they need to verify their email and also just a form to resend the verification email in case they don't have it so i will create our script tag and our template the first thing i want to have here is a head and our title which we will set it to email verification then we need our container so we need to import that let's say import container from our components folder like this i will set the width of this to half and within that we will have some text first so i'm adding a div here with margin bottom eight and also just a p tag that says verify your email now under that div we will have a form that would be used for resending the email verification so i'm going to use our primary button or primary btn so we need to import it first and then right here we can say primary btn for the text we can say resend verification email and later on we will bind this to form processing because right now we don't have a form so that is our view component very simple just a text and a form so let's go back to the documentation the next route is our handler which is again a get route so again i'm going to copy this whole thing go back to our auth.php and paste it here and just remove this function i'm going to grab this whole function with the body and cut it 
so we can use it in our controller. We have a get route that goes to the same route, but this time we have two dynamic values. One is the ID, one is the hash that Laravel would handle filling those values. Then as a second argument, we can again use our email verification controller and a function that I would call it handler. We also have two middlewares. We already have one of them up here, so we can delete auth and keep that signed. And of course the name that we need to keep it as it is. So this is our second route or a handler route. We want to go back to our controller and paste the function we got from this route. So let's add the public keyword before the function and also the name. Then we need to import this email verification request. So let's retype it and import it from foundation auth and email verification request. So this is all handled by Laravel behind the scenes. So they would handle the request and verify the user and then we want to redirect to the home page. So we can use the route helper function and say home. So that is our second route. Next is resending the verification email in case the user didn't receive it. So again, same process. I'm going to copy this, go back to auth.php, paste it here, and then cut this function out of here so we can add our controller. Email verification controller class and a function that I would call it resend, then we don't need auth middleware, but we need to keep the other one and of course the name. And this middleware would make sure the user doesn't request too many emails. Now back to our email verification controller, we can paste that function, add the public keyword and also the name. So we called it resend and all we are doing here, we are accepting the request so we can grab the authenticated user and then use this function, which is again part of Laravel, to send email verification to the same user. And then we are returning back to the same page, which is this page with a session message that we are calling it message with this text. But I would like to change this to status. So that means we will have a session message with the key status. So we can actually grab that and send it to the view component as a prop so we can show it to the user. So we know the render function from inertia can accept a second argument that is an array of props. So we can pass an array here, then create a key value pair. So we will use status for the key. And for the value, we can use the session function and grab our status message, which is this one. So now we have a session message or a session prop. And also we have a route that we can use on this form in our component. So in our script tag, let's create our form instance. We can say const form use form from inertia. That is going to be an empty object. So we don't need any values. And then we can create our submit function. We can set this to an arrow function, then grab the form and we want to submit this through a post request. So the route or the URL we want to use is the last route we created here. So it's called verification.send. I can copy it and paste it here. So now we have a form instance. We have the submit function. We can use at submit prevents the default and then use our submit method on the form. And also on the primary button, we can use that form processing. So we would disable the button when we are sending the email. So we are done with the form. Now we can accept our status message as a prop. So we can just use define props and pass an object here. We can say we have a status prop, which is going to be a type of a string. And somewhere in the page, we can show that. So maybe right above the form, I can use a P tag. And I want to use the VIF directive and say, if there is any status or there is any message, then show it on the page like this. So we've done almost everything. And the last step is protecting the routes from unverified users. All we have to do is to apply the verified middleware to any route we want to protect. At the moment, we don't have many routes. So what we can do, go to our web.php and use it on our homepage. So we can just use the middleware function before the name and then pass down the verified middleware. Now let's see if we've done everything correctly. So let's go back to our website. You notice we cannot go to the home page because now it's protected. So we need to either log in and verify if we have an account or just register. I don't have any users at the moment. 
I can register a new user and see if we get that message. Press register. We have to wait a few seconds. When it's done, we are directed to the email verify page. So we see our text and also the button. If we check our mail trap service, you notice we do have an email and we can verify it. But I'm going to delete this email and then go back to our app and request a new one. So again, I'm going to press resend verification email. We wait again and you can see everything is working properly. We get the status message. So we need to style this a bit better and back to mail trap and let's reload. We get a new email. Let's verify our email. And there we go. Now we can access the home page. Of course, if we check our database now, we have our new user and we have a date time for email verified column. This used to be null and now there is a value for it. The last thing I want to do for this video is to create a component for session messages because we will use them throughout the application. So this is going to be very simple, basically just CSS classes. In the components folder, I will create a new document, which I would call it session messages. And then we will have our script tag and our template. Then I'm going to add some classes. So we have margin bottom four, font medium, text is small, and set the color of the text to green. Then we can accept a status prop or whatever we want to call it and set its type to string. And then we can say we want to show that a status for the content of this div, but we want to make this conditional. So we can use the v if directive and then use the same prop. So if there is any message, then we will show this. Otherwise, we don't. So now let's go back to our verify email component. We want to import that session messages. And instead of this p tag, we can say session messages and self close it. And this is looking for a status prop. So we can bind that to our status variable or prop that is coming from our PHP or Laravel session messages. All right, so this is our component. And if we go back, you can see it's right here. So it's just a simple green text. You can style it the way you want, of course. But that's all we have to do for our email verification. And the next thing we want to do is to add the forget password or reset password feature. So we will do this in the next video.